All right, guys, gas station and littering PSA. Let's check it out. This one's from, uh, you know, a bit, the big uh, gas station encounters. I actually had a request from somebody to react to their channel, and uh, we've been finding some gems from them. So let's check, check it out. All right. Man, that's a that's a cool car. You know, I like GMCs. One of my friends had a GMC, so it's like, Whenever, whenever I see that car, it kind of feels like my friend's driving it. I, I just had, like, you know, it's some, some sort of, like, I don't know the psychological term, but it's like, you know, a, an association. And so it, it reminds me of those fond memories with my friend. And it was amazing. It's, it's amazing, you know what I mean? Let's check it out. Hello. Welcome to the Gas Station Etiquette training video. Over the next few minutes, we will be showing you how you can be a better gas station customer one scenario at a time. So All sit right. back and relax while we take you through this magical journey of people lacking common courtesy. Now, oh man, he said it's a magical journey. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. Start with littering. What is littering, you ask? Littering is when waste or discarded materials are disposed of in an improper manner. Just take this guy for instance. Instead of getting out of his vehicle and disposing of his trash in one of the six trash cans within 20 feet of him, he decides to throw his trash out the window. Now I'm sure you're asking yourself- Dang bro is savage right there man. Come on. What should I do if I see someone do this? Well, the answer to that question is very easy. Hey, bro, he, he straight up stormed out there, guys. Phone in hand, everything, guys. How did he get... It? He always gets there super quick. I, I think he just, like, watches from a back room or something, bro. <laughs> but he, he's not happy here. Look at him. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are, are you doing? a fucking idiot? You're just going to throw that on the ground and litter? There's a trash can right there. Are you sure? Are you a dumbass? Same, bro. Gas station, uh, GSE has quite a lot of, uh, cojones for doing this, right, guys? You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, littering is, you know, kind of bad and stuff. It is, it is bad, rather, but, uh, he's, uh, he's quite, uh, GSE, like, <laughs> he's just so ballsy for doing this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yourself. Throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. Actually, I got your plate number, so... Guys, he looks... He looks angry right here. He can... It is littering, so we'll have you charged. Fucking douchebag. That didn't piss you off? Well... Uh, he, he, he doesn't, uh... He doesn't blurt out the, um... The license plate. I mean, he does, rather. For, like, privacy reasons. Well, maybe this will. As you can see, Pump 1 is 100% clear of litter. But as you'll see here, this young lady decides to throw some trash on the ground. And she's... Guys, there's a trash can not that far away. There should be. There should be a trash can. Okay, sorry guys, I got attacked. It's not the only one. Her passenger just opened up the door and he threw some trash on the ground as well. So she's going to give herself the quick interior detail job and dispose of her wipe on the ground. And before she leaves, she's going to throw one more wipe on the ground. Straight up threw it on the ground. Anyone remember that meme? For good luck. Look at all that litter. What a dirt ball. Skittles wrapper. A spoon. The purple Skittles wrapper, everything, guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't even know what these disgusting wipes are, but I'm gonna pick them up anyways. Same, bro. Picking it up without, um. Without, like, a. Uh, some gloves on. Okay, okay. Uh, steak and shake cup. Oh, sweet. Nasty. Man, that's kind of gross. Uh, guys, I, I saw so much litter. When I was homeless. 
Because back when you're, when you're homeless with no phone, what else can you look at, like, other than, like, around the floor and stuff? You know what I mean? You know, there's there so much litter. And this little wrapper, and then, of course, she's got to keep her hand clean and leave this on the freaking dispenser. Damn, bro. This is this is COVID era video, by the way. This is when it was uploaded. Oh, what do you know? There's a trash can two feet away. Now, let me piss you off a little more. As you can see here, this young fella got a bag of ice to cool down some delicious beverages. So he uses what he needs, and instead of walking to the trash can 20 feet behind him, he throws the bag on the ground. Don't worry, though. Threw it on the ground. Rem anyone remember the Lonely Island meme? He's a nice guy. He just let this cute little couple know that their tailgate is wide open. Way to go, little buddy. Hey, that's, that's ups he does get good, some good points for that, right, guys? Anyone else do that accidentally? I, I did that accidentally back then. Thanks for littering. Back when I drived. But wait, there's more. This lady decides that the trash can is just too far away to make the walk. So she disposes of her Mountain Dew can on the ground. Don't worry though, she's not done yet. Guys, yeah, I don't also find cups just randomly sitting there like that as well. Let's see if GSE will confront him. She's got a wrapper to throw away as well. So after she's done littering. Uh, uh, guys, this is not like an uncommon occurrence. It happens so much, bro. She decides to make her way, but she's. Like, at the end of the day, where I live. Because I would pick up the trash where I, when I was homeless. You know, it's like a, just a good deed or whatever, you know, also because I was bored, you know, I, I, and uh, I just pick a clean up like the trash everywhere, guys. Because I was on stimulants, I was addicted, and uh, that's what I do occasionally. She's having second thoughts about littering. So she gets out of her car, walks over to the trash, takes a quick look at it before deciding, nah, I think I'll just leave it there. You'll also notice that that Jaguar is still parked on the side. And that's because he decided to leave it there without asking the business owner. Another no-no. Dang, bro. <laughs> kind of rude, kind of rude. When it comes to proper gas station etiquette. You can also, you know, it would be courteous, bro. Bro just took off um, in a, like, Jaguar. And left it there, man. Now you would think if you're leaving your car at a random gas station while you're on vacation, you would at least lock it. What? Crazy. Anybody could come in here, take anything they want. But luckily, I'm a good guy. All right, now let's. Pick Dang, bro. We tried to open it for whatever reason. Okay. Pick up this trash from all those litter bugs, you fucking dirt balls. <sighs> now, sometimes when you visit a gas station, you gotta drop a big fat deuce. So we kindly request that when using the free Oh my gosh, what the heck? No way. <laughs> toilet paper and paper towels. What the heck? This is straight out of a cartoon, bro. Alright guys, I got attacked. Offer. You pick up after yourself. Oh my gosh, it's like <laughs> it's straight up following her out the door, guys. She has this is so comical, man. <laughs> this is a treat. I did not expect this to to, to show up. Even this to happen, guys. Like toilet paper follows you all the way out the door. Dang! Now that's some strong. That, that'd be that'd be funny if uh, it follows her to her car, bro. Like, wow. Gas station toilet paper. Huh? Looks like she finally figured it out. No worries, ma'am. We'll pick it up for you. At least the other customers got a good kick out of it. Guys. <laughs> wow. Uh. I bet that's a one of the first times it's we've seen it happen at a gas station, right? Or uh, I mean, he's a he works there, so like you know he's gonna see this happen quite often, but not 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 all the time, right, guys? <laughs> that's wild. Like, how do you even get get it caught in your pants or anything? Like, <laughs> it's not hard to be a decent human being when you're at a gas station. Here are some other things you shouldn't do: things like spit on the front door. Blow snot rockets on the beer cave floor and wipe the mucus all over the corona someone else is going to purchase. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Dude, what? Wow, man. What is wrong with these dudes, bro? That's actually disgusting. I, I, I'm i actually appalled here, bro, that this even happens. Like, uh, I'm legit kind of um pissed now. Like, 
really. And urinating at the pump while a customer with a dash cam pulls in. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh, oh, zip it up. Oh, oh, dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm just pumping some gas. Yeah, oh, dang, that's a lot of pee. Oh, it's touching my shoes. All right, I uh, just gotta grab the nozzle, hit the grate, and uh, put her in. Oh my gosh, is he soiling himself? No way. In the tank. Oh man, that's a lot of pee. Oh, dang. Oh gosh. I step in it. Oh, Dude, I'm worried about becoming old and having to worry about something like this. Like something like this happening, guys. Man. We can't forget about those window squeegees. You know, the ones that are meant for cleaning your windows. Not your tires, or any other part of your car for that matter. And they're definitely not supposed to be used to impress your girlfriend. How's he gonna impress his girlfriend with it, guys? What the heck? This, this guy is wild, bro. I'm glad they got a good cam camera this time, though. Because <laughs> there'd be so much stuff that happens at the gas station. <laughs> we also don't appreciate taste testers. Just because you walked in with a half empty Dunkin' Donuts coffee doesn't mean you get to fill it back up with our Dunkin' Donuts coffee and then throw it in the trash because you don't want to pay for it. Or uh, that's pretty rude. What the heck? Maybe you buy something you haven't tried before. Like I mean. Uh that's a flaw of, you know, ha having a store. It's a store full of stuff where people can just walk in and do whatever, man. Like, literally. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you'd, tr uh, like, try to, you know, stop it, but it's, it's so weird. Like some raspberry hostess zingers. If you don't like how they taste, you don't get to demand a refund and freak out on the cashier. Dang, bro. Did I no, no, part of it is because they had the YouTube channel and, um, you know, they had their YouTube plaque on the wall, their 1 million subscriber plaque or even their 100k subscriber plaque. So people just act up to, you know, kind of just have content for the YouTube channel, I think, in, in my opinion. I forget to mention that you definitely shouldn't lay the smacketh down on some Rudy Poo jabroni in the middle of all the pumps in front of customers. Oh snap! Get him! Get him! I'm joking. If he deserves it, then by all means, lay the smacketh down. You go, girl. Now, say it with me. Hang up your pump before they did you just smack him. You leave. Those hoses and nozzles aren't cheap. Oh my gosh, yo, that's so, what, what a fumble, bro. I wonder how long it took him to get this uh, video done with, because we're just seeing it, like, from the eyes of him, like, the business owner, bro. You think he's going to pay for that? I'll be like, yo, I'll, I'll be looking there, I'll be like, yo, I'm so screwed, bro. What do I even do? Thing can still hear it all the way out from there, man. That they got some good quality microphones, man. And she go. If you know this guy, let him know that he owes us a new nozzle and a new hose. Now let's talk about proper etiquette when it comes to handling those filthy scammers. You know, the guys that act like they barely speak English and use their children for sympathy while they try telling you that they lost their wallet traveling and then he- Yo, what the heck? I've never heard of a, a scam like that. Okay, okay. Need money for gas to get home, so they need to sell you the expensive gold jewelry right off their own body, but when a nice person offers them $20, they tell you that it's worth at least a couple hundred and that you should go get them more money out of an ATM, but really they got it out of a vending machine at Walmart for 50 cents? Please, don't fall for that garbage. Yes, yeah, sure. that guy, Ray is trying to sell himself. Buddy, get out of here. You're not asking people for, no, give that back to him. It's fake. Go, get out of here. No, don't do that shit here. Fuck out. And he straight up takes off. I think that's a Florida. I think it's they, they're based in Florida. So this is Florida for you guys. What is it? Okay. Dude, 
I don't know what it is, but this week it's been happening almost every day. And last, but certainly not least, did you think I was going to leave you guys hanging? Obviously, the most important part of gas station etiquette is not being a dirty shoplifter, like this little rascal who just walked in the door. So he's going to make his way into the middle aisle. Dang, even the old guy is shoplifting. Yo, it glitched out. Look at look at him, bro. He's, he's, <laughs> it's a simulation or something. Now, and the camera's going to glitch, and he's going to make his way towards the coolers because he wants some delicious beverages. So he's going to make his way towards the beer cave, and he's going to open up that door. He's going to make his way inside, and he knows what he wants. He wants the Bud Light 12-pack can. So he's going to look for the cameras. Doesn't look like he spotted this. Dang, straight up a 12-pack, guys? On, he's what? He's going to slip that Bud Light 12-pack can into his jacket. It. He's going to zip that bad boy up. Yeah. Then this guy is bold, bro. You can't see that. And he's going to make his way out of the beer cave. Then he's going to do the super <laughs> obvious look up at the counter. Got to make sure the cashiers didn't see him. He's going to make his way down the candy alley. And it looks <laughs> like somebody's ahead of him. So he's going to have to wait in front of the Fresh Made Daily Quarter Pound of Meat with three slices of cheese sandwiches. You want a gas? Dude, no way. He's getting gas as well. He's getting gas as well, guys. <laughs> this guy is a uh, bold man. That looks pretty good. <laughs> oh man. Wait, that's a guy. That's a commentator. Okay, he was trolling. He was trolling, guys. This guy's a troll, man. I like it. I like it. Dang it. Just a really good customer yanking our chain. She go! Alright, guys, that's a video. Wow, this is one of the best ones I've seen. I thought it was just going to be like a single case scenario. Had that butt light in the cup holder for, on the first clip. Can't believe I have to share a planet with the, these people. It's, uh, some of them was a legitimate mis mistake. Love, I love how the old guy's acting. Like he was just, he was stealing. I wanted to be in their video. He wanted to be in their video. He knew what, what he was doing. I'm sure a lot of people wanted to be in the video. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi. You're more than welcome, guys, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.